for today? What? What's your specific complaint for today? You gotta have like a specific complaint for today. I, they I have over everything that you okay. About, okay. My my complaint is the ongoing and ever increasing harassment by some of the officers here I and this fucking department on me okay. and my and my group. Okay, so that to me sounds like you have a civil matter that you need a lawsuit against somebody. Correct? Is that what you're trying to? No, I want I want it investigated by this department because you guys can do an investigation. You can call Vopi in. You can ask him, did you make these posts? Will you be interrogatory to them online? You can ask, you can ask Lang, did you say anything derogatory about him? Did you tell him to kill himself? Huh? About, who you? about me. Okay. So telling about, me to kill myself. You're about media posts. Yes. On social media. Yes. So you're complaining about social media? But I want you to get it on record of Vopi either admitting to it or... Well, you got the post. That's, that's your... I want it on an official record, him either admitting to it or denying it. And I want it on an official police report, Lang either admitting to it or denying it. So when I get a civil suit going, I'll have that to say, okay, they lied. Because the, the IP addresses are going to take it right back to who it was, and I think it's coming from government computers. So you basically want us to do an investigation for you to you to initiate it? No, I want you guys to do an investigation on officers in your department that are fucking with veterans, and the two that are doing it aren't veterans. So it's disgusting that the VA police is fucking with veterans, telling them to kill themselves, uh, calling one of our one of our moderators nigger go hey fucking nigger go pick cotton you coon and threatening our wives by saying that they know where they work out here and they know how to get to them that's what i want you to do i don't want you to do an investigation for a civil matter we'll hire somebody to do that when it comes to that but this is impropriety and and uh it, just inexcusable behavior by your officers from this department fucking with veterans when they're supposed to be watching out for us. This is based on the social media post. Yeah. Do you know the date of the post? I don't go on social media, so I don't even know. Well, I've got these to give you, but I would like you to initial them and make a copy and give them back so that I've got a record that you received them. I don't, unless it's, I'm going to use them, I'm not going to take them. There's... There's post by Volpe. You need to move on. Nothing has happened in seven years. That's okay. This one, the count is when they post shit like this. This was this is my home fucking address. Now everybody out here knows that I have post traumatic stress and anxiety, and these fucking people, your officers. Are posting this on well, on yard sale on yard sale websites. And sending people to my fucking house, telling them to knock on the door. I'm trying to ask you questions. Your voice is getting high. You're using, using a lot of vulgarity. I'm just trying to ask you simple questions. Being not, uh, I'm not a Facebook professional, so I wouldn't know if this was a good post or bad post. I don't go on Facebook, so I wouldn't even know how to even look at this post. So you're saying that somebody put your name on a post on Facebook, right? My address. Your, yeah, your address. And put at the top, please just come knock on the door. So they're sending people to my house, my one safe space. So how, how, do, how do we determine who put that on as a post? It's got the, it's got, one of the things I've got here has got that person's name on it. Mr. Hanford, I'm totally not a Facebook guy. I don't know how to tell one Facebook post from another one. I don't go on Facebook. So okay, but I'm sure that you've got somebody here when they do the investigation right, of it. I, I've never done a Facebook investigation for a thing. Then you got this one that we believe is uh, Detective Lang saying... What makes you believe that? Because this Wendell Stevens uh, fake Facebook account... I don't say because when we went on, when you click on Wendell Stevens, it was made, it was established minutes before the uh, attack started, and he used verbiage that uh, 
directly from a protection order that was hand delivered to Detective Lang. He used he used verbatim ver verbiage from that. That person and a couple others, they even Lieutenant O'Neill that used to be out here, they went and took a and we believe this was either Lang or Volpe, went and took his Facebook photo, his profile photo. No, these are just assumptions that that's who we are. There's no, there's no assumption about Volpe. That's the one post where he says, just move on because there's nothing happening here. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's just some of them. You want that to be used as a basis for a threat or something? You guys need to move on? No, you you seem like you're trying to minimize no, this. No, You've got to... officers that are encouraging being, a veteran being, to kill themselves, sir, calling sir. veterans niggers, go pick cotton, threatening factual. our wives. I'm not minimizing anything. I'm being very factual. I'm not trying to assume or add nothing to whatever I don't have. So if I don't have something, I'm not going to add something to something I don't have yet. And I'm asking you a question regarding this post. You want to make this post basis of a complaint where he says just move on, nothing has happened here? This and all the others. And, but these were just assumed to be by people here. We don't know. Right, but you can call in the people that we assume them to be Lang and his and wife and ask, and them, ask them, them, ask them to either admit to it or deny it, okay. that they have gone on Facebook and harassed us. That's the fucking sign that I have on my front door and has been there for two months because they posted my uh, home address. You put this door. Yeah, I put that up because I had total strangers okay. showing up knocking at your door. and knocking on my door. Okay. And that was done to fucking harass me because they know I've got anxiety and post-traumatic stress. Is there a way you can talk without using the F word? Like every other word? Because I haven't used it yet. I'm just asking. So this is another uh, Facebook post? Yep. So this is someone that's disappointed with your group? That's one of the that's one of the, the ones that we've identified as fake accounts because they were made up just prior to So so Keith, this is a this is certain a serious question. If you got the know how and the expertise and you're a Facebook kind of guy, because it seems like you have a lot of you do it and you know how to do this stuff, why wouldn't you just bring this to your attorney? Hold on a minute, let me finish. Because I don't know how to do this stuff and it's going to be dead ended at my end. Because I wouldn't know how to do half of the stuff you did. You wouldn't know how to call in Detective Lang no, no, and you wouldn't know how to call in Detective know. Lang and say, yeah, and I'm recording. I wouldn't know how to determine a fake, fake post from a but, one. But you wouldn't no, know how to call in Detective Lang and ask him point blank, we had a complaint of a veteran believing that you're going on I Facebook. I can do a lot of things like that. Hello, Mr. Hansford. And he wants you to either admit to doing it or deny doing it on the record. He doesn't have to answer any of my questions. <laughs> I, you don't have to either. It's still America. No one has to answer questions. So you're not gonna you're not gonna I do ask him anything. He doesn't have to answer anything. You know, I've to tell me anything he does on Facebook. A prettier one. Unfortunately, that's just the truth, Mr. Hansford. I mean, I can't make a lie to you. You know what? They could very well be using government devices because I'm sure the detective has a government-issued cell phone and computer and all of that. Uh, and that's what you need to investigate. Have you that? Huh? Is there a way to track these things to that? Law enforcement can. Law enforcement can. Law enforcement can track a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, we are. I'm going to ask you to go in another room. I feel com more comfortable staying out here if I need to wait until she leaves. Well, we can't keep conducting business out here because we have this is a, this is a business room for a certain business, not for investigation. I'm uncomfortable going in a back room with you. I'm not doing well. You know what they're up to now? They're posting my home fucking address. Okay. They're posting my home address on yard sale websites, sending people to my home to knock on the door, showing that picture. Uh, we've got we've got uh, Volpe using his own Facebook account to come on there and screw with us and our page and say we're a joke and you know we're never going to stop the corruption here, so just give up. Uh, and he's not a veteran, but he's fucking with a. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ma'am. 
screwing with a, uh, a veteran and a veteran group. And we believe, because the, the really nasty ones telling me to kill myself, go ahead and end it, Colin Carlton Hooker, you effing nigger coon, go pick cotton, and threatening our wives, saying we know where they work, we can get to them anytime we want. Those all started right after the town hall meeting where I wouldn't sit down when Lang come over and told me to sit down at the direction of the public affairs officer. I mean, it's on film, him telling the public affairs officer something and him coming over and telling me to sit down. What? Should I have to? They're your officers. Should I have to block them? Should I have to have a sign on my door that says, don't knock, no yard sale, harassment of veterans? Should I need to take those steps? No. You should find out if they are doing this and put a stop to it. And not just put a stop to it, you need to get rid of them because they obviously don't have what it takes to be an officer. For two non-veterans, Volpe and Lang, and the reason we believe Lang is because he has used the, some of the fake uh, accounts have used verbatim words from uh, police reports and a protection order that Tammy O'Neill hand delivered to him. So if you investigate it or have OIG investigate it and they pull up, they pull, they get with Facebook and get those IP addresses, they're going to come back to either officers' com home computers or their personal cell phones, or they're going to come back to government devices. But I shouldn't have to block. They've, they've created nine different fake accounts, and they did that so that they could go on our site, which had a five-star rating. They could go on there and post one-star ratings and bullshit, excuse me, to drive our rating down. Now our site has a 2.2 star rating. And it's because of fake. This turns out to be not. Hear me out before you get upset. This turns out not to be anybody basically here and just some random person doing this. How would you handle that? How would a random person know verbatim from police? No. How, this isn't a Facebook question. How would a random person know? verbatim what's in a protection order. I don't know, but what if this was a 